So problem 38, there are two dipoles. Um, one has uh, the following dipole moment, another one has a little bit difference in the phase. And um, they are placed at the points minus a and a on the x-axis. And it needs to find the parameter a that uh, the radiation is uh, maximal along x. <clears throat> and uh, again, this is the conditions for the radiation zone. These are equations from the pink pages, from the one before last page. There is given electric field, we already used it before. And here we have a two dipoles, so we will need to use the superposition of these dipole moments. And it's written in the following way. So first of all, there is a um, possible simplification of the equation. So if um, and then also we know that uh, was there C is omega divided by K, then we can write omega as uh, three times K, and then it's omega squared is like this. So then we can replace this omega square with k square epsilon naught mu naught. This two mu will cancel each other. So maybe it looks a bit similar, maybe not. So in the previous problem, we found that this r cross um, um, the oscillation is along the z. Of that moment, and then uh, cross R was minus sinus theta in theta direction. So it was minus, try to get a bit closer here, minus sinus, it was theta in theta direction because of the spherical wave of the half wave antenna. And then uh, there was also E naught, the amplitude of the dipole moment. And then we have this wonderful part for the superposition. So there is a superposition of the uh, dipoles times this E, which we can add in here. Um, okay. And this is a phase, uh, can skip it right now. So that's the equation I got so far. Let me check. Yes, that's it. So that's the uh, equation for electric field, which we will use now. And then we we'll use the rest. Okay. 
understand using <coughs> this equation, we have here some um, this uh, field uh, field vector and uh, source point vector. And uh, since we have two dipoles, and right for each field, for each dipole, Um, here starts the thing. In the problem, we have uh, x and z axis. We need to find the ele um, electric field along z, right? Or we need to find also the direction. And uh, x and z are rectangular uh, coordinates, while we have here a sinus theta in theta direction, so it definitely needs to Recalc is theta, the angle between uh, z and uh, theta is 90 degrees. So one for the sinus and for the theta. Uh, for the theta, we can use the pink pages and write it in actually which system of coordinates. Theta uh, is given for cylindrical, but it doesn't matter. We can use here a cylindrical, it will give us Z, which is important. So theta is equal to minus Z sinus theta plus R cosine theta. Cosine 90 degrees is zero. And here is again sinus theta is one, so we got minus the direction. So minus here goes away. Uh, and direction of electric field in z direction. What is next? So the field point. Since we need to find the field along uh, z, the field point of along x x and x direction, the source point is a x, uh, that is minus a x for the first, and for the second is a x. So now we can plug it in, and we also have the phase, the alpha, or yeah, which we need also to plug in this pi divided by 4 minus pi divided by 4. Yes. So for the first one, we have plugged in everything, the theta sinus went away, it became zero. Oh, sorry, one. A pi naught. And uh, yeah, now for the exponential, we are staying the same, minus omega t for the first one is omega t minus k and here is a for that whole antenna we need to find um field vector times uh, source vector will be minus a x minus a x right plus a x divided by r and it's all in, in that direction. So for the second oh maybe I should have oh, 
I remember. For the second one, two more, two, seven, four, five. So the um, type of moment amplitude is the same. Uh, then it's divided by R. E R minus omega T, and here goes the minus by four to plus divided by four minus T divided by R in that direction. And so then the maximum field we write that. This one is equal to another one. Let me check if I wrote it correctly. Mm -hmm. Yes, upper one is correct. And the lower one is also fine. Yes, and now to assume the field to be maximum. So, them, I will simplify already here, moving the equal parts uh, that that also gone, so we can write this two parts. So these two things are equalized, or how to say proper in English, everything equal, and this and this. So what is left? 2k dx divided by r is equal to 5 divided by 4. So if I what can I do else? If I assume that um, ah, we need to find a. I'm sorry, I got lost. Yes, so a for this case is two k x. And if we would assume that x would be equal to r, then k is equal to uh, pi divided by 2k. And that sounds right. I lost four. Of course, I lost four. Um, oh, four divided. So here is eight. And here is eight. Yes. Okay, that sounds right. So to have a field maximal, they should oscillate in the same phase. 